All right, this is going to be a quick one uh, or a shorter one. Uh, I've talked about Sparrow Wi-Fi before in the past, and I've shown it uh, that it's included in both Dragon OS Focal, Dragon OS Pi 64. You can use the two together. Uh, I've been screwing around with the Pine Phone a lot here lately. We're really liking this uh, device here. It's not the Pro; it's just the normal one. And uh, so what I've done is uh, I've got Mobian uh, booted on a SD card. Loaded in it right now. I'm really liking this distribution. Uh, needs pretty much or has pretty much all the tools I need and has allowed me to build a lot of stuff into it for software-defined radios. I uh, hope to you know wrap that up and somehow share it with anybody that may be interested. But uh, I thought, wow, I could probably get Spare Wi-Fi running on here, at least the agent, and I, and I have. So I've updated the uh, lib hacker f that's on it to the latest build. I uh, made sure Hacker F sw uh, Sweep works. Uh, I've thrown the uh, what's needed for the Ubertooth all onto uh, the Pine Phone with a lot of other software, but uh, I hadn't really messed with the seeing about the GPS yet and how that works. So that's that's disabled. But what I want to do is here uh, is show um, essentially starting up the Sparrow Wi-Fi agent on the phone which doesn't have cellular service right now, it's just wirelessly connected um, to an access point to allow me to get into it, to start this up, to just do a demonstration here, uh, but uh, be pretty cool on the cellular and then reaching out over a network and connecting to it with the Sparrow Wi-Fi graphical user interface locally. Uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, should be should be it. I don't have an alpha card or anything like that plugged into it. This is just using the internal wireless card which is not able to be put into monitor mode but it can still do a survey uh, ability there with uh, either IW list or IW I can't remember probably IW and then it's also got uh, the Bluetooth internal that is working and then uh, yeah so we're, we're gonna do a couple things here but I'm in the Pine phone here on the left you can see Mobian uh, see that's the 5.10 kernel and I'm in the downloads spare Wi-Fi folder where I've uh, set a lot of things up right now and all I need to do is run the spare Wi-Fi agent we're just gonna make this short right to the point this will uh, find the uh, well maybe nothing I gotta do sorry Sparrow Wi-Fi no dash is the agent Sparrow Wi-Fi or Sparrow Dash Wi-Fi is the graphical user interface. Uh, that's uh, another story that's not working on the Pine phone right now. It needs whatever, some other stuff. But see, it finds the Bluetooth hardware and the Ubertooth. It's also using the wireless and the Hacker F is plugged in as well. Uh, I said all that without really talking about the page here. Here's the GitHub page. You can read what all this offers and is included in the various uh, just Dragon OS uh, distributions that uh, I've put together, so it's a really awesome uh, program. So sh you know, go there to um, find out any more or any additional information. So over here on Dragon OS here, locally, I'm going to start up the Sparrow Dash Wi-Fi. This is the graphical user interface. And uh, now that I think about it, I do have a GPS uh, plugged into the uh, laptop, so I'm just going to go ahead and unplug that. Don't need that for right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect to this remote agent, which is the Pine Phone on 8020. And we'll set it up to when we do a scan, it'll do a one-pass scan. I'm going to do the scan, and then I'll clear out the screen here, or as much of it as I can, but you'll just see the effect. So you see the remote interface, the WLAN 0. I click scan. All right, cut out just a second there. Uh, the scan came back. There's the results. It's a one-scan pass. You can change that up. You can see uh, where it's overlaid down here on the channels. So that was the uh, wireless that's built into the Pine phone. Now what we're going to do is we'll turn on the Ubertooth and the Hacker F, which is going to overlay 
uh, down here in the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So here's the Ubertooth. We can see you know activity that's going on here. And then the HackRF will be over here on the right that's using the HackRF sweep. I don't really have a 5 gigahertz uh, antenna set up right now on there, so I'm not, not going to really see a lot. But this is all coming remotely from the Pine Phone. I know you can't see that, but just trust me. The Pine Phone, I'm connected. It's sitting right here next to me. And um, yeah, so that's what's doing all that. Uh, I I don't have a powered USB hub. It's literally just running off the USB C port on the bottom of the Pine Phone with a uh, little um, hub that I have the various things plugged into. I'm just going to turn those off for a second because we can see those are working. And turning that off uh, will also allow me to do the um, next part of this, which is the Bluetooth discovery. So it'll use the uh, Ubertooth in combination with the uh, internal Bluetooth since I have it plugged in like that. If you didn't have the Ubertooth, that's fine. There were some recent changes, so this should run. Uh, the agent should run, and Bluetooth. Sh some of the options of Bluetooth should be available, even if you don't have the Ubertooth plugged in. Uh, if you're doing this on the uh, Dragon OS Pi 64 or Dragon OS Focal. So <clears throat> we'll look at the uh, Bluetooth. So this is the Bluetooth coming from the Pine Phone. And this is using blues. And uh, uh, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. It's uh, Blue Hydra is all set up. Oh, I actually lost the connection here. Let's see. Let's see, open this up one more time. Bluetooth discovery. So we'll do a scan. All right, I'm back. I stopped the scan. That particular that scan can continuously run. Uh, I just move some stuff out and. Uh, so that is the Bluetooth coming from there. You got a map and an export. You can export the uh, results. I'll minimize this. <clears throat> um, let's see, telemetry and then geo. If you start using uh, the GPS, you can um, get some additional options there. And yeah, so create a map, create SSIDs uh, map. And this can also tie into if you had a um, an alpha card or some other third party card plugged into the Pine Phone. There's an advanced scan feature that leverages the um, a different suite of tools to uh, provide more than just a a, a uh, scan of uh, access points. It can do uh, quite a bit more, and that's all detailed on the on the page there. Basically you can put that card in the monitor mode interface and do some additional things. Alright, so I, I don't know, I think the most significant thing out of this is, because uh, I've shown Sphero Wi-Fi before, but this is you, leveraging the Pine Phone and all its capabilities and uh, and linking that back into Dragon OS. Alright, well thanks for uh, watching.